Hey everybody, Steve Sheets here. I just want to share a quick real world use for ChatGPT where I can find it helpful and that is with editing down or just generally helping with your content. First, I want to set the tone with ChatGPT and save myself some typing possibly and let it know that for casualness and brevity, I would like to use Ghost Ranch Communications, Ghost Ranch and GRC interchangeably. And then to help me with my idea, I'm just gonna ask it what people say about Ghost Ranch Communications. Maybe they will, you know, bring something up that I haven't thought about as, uh, as I try to come up with some content to talk about Ghost Ranch. All right, so it's given me a paragraph here that I can sort of take into account as I write what I think I wanna say about Ghost Ranch. And uh, come up with a paragraph that is basically stream of thought word vomit. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT if uh, it can cut the fluff out of this paragraph and give me a nice punchy sales description to quickly pitch Ghost Ranch Communications. I'm asking it to trim the fat from this, get rid of some jargon or buzzwords, just so that it sounds a little more approachable to a broader market. And I've got my paragraph here and I'm just going to hit go and see what happens. And you can tell already this is way shorter probably a step in the right direction. It'll give me some things that I can think about before I'm creating a final. I can ask ChatGPT to make some edits to this if I want to, or I can just take it over from here and do it on my own. Either way, it's given me a probably better starting point than what I had to begin with and given me some more things to think about. Um, and you know what, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and let ChatGPT know that uh, this was really helpful. But for my future reference, um, what are some of the words that were eliminated? And ask ChatGPT if it can help me with a list of 50 buzzword or jargon words that are common in the B2B industry that I may want to avoid. And here it is spitting out some words that I might want to consider blacklisting or at least using carefully as I go to work on this content on my own. And that's it. Super helpful and hopefully it can help you too. Have a great day.